everybody welcome back to my channel this is Tammy uh, okay so today I am telling you about my second entry to this dollar store Christmas junk journal challenge um, I already submitted one and uh, when I was shopping at Target before Christmas uh, I I came across this collection that I just I really thought it was really cute and uh, decided that it just inspired me to make a second one and um, I actually finished this a few days ago I just haven't had a chance to film this um, flip through yet but uh, before I do the flip through I'm going to insert again a picture of everything that I used to put this uh, junk journal together um, so you'll see that right now Okay, so as you saw uh, there, I had a couple of play packs, uh, some gift wrap. Um, I used uh, the I had the two placemats, which had these really fun pom poms. Um, I did use the leftovers from the um, paper pad that I bought from the Dollar Tree for the first one. Uh, so I use that again in here, and then this um, book cover again um, was from the dollar store as well. Um, I think those were the only two things from the dollar store, if I remember right. Um, there was a pack of stickers, uh, alphabet stickers, and then the play packs each had a, a little activity book, um, a, a small... A, a sheet of stickers. Um, what else? Uh, there was crayons, but I didn't use those. Um, oh, I use I use that pack of uh, gel, not gel, uh, glitter markers that I found at the dollar. I'm sorry, at the Target dollar spot. Um, I think that's about it. So as we go through, I'll, I'll kind of point things out, but. Uh, Oh, and this uh, big uh, gift bag also from Target Dollar Spot. So, um, as you can see, I basically just kept the cover as it was and covered up the spine. And I actually didn't want to, you know, I thought this looked okay too. So, I just kept this plain and covered up the inside of the spine after I reinforced it and um, yeah so I'll just go start going through so this is a page from one of the activity books of one of those play packs there were three shown there um, but I did remove one because I actually had sixteen dollars worth uh, so just know that um, I I play by the rules and I don't want to break them so um, I colored some of the pages on the there you go with uh, those glitter markers and so some s snowflakes there as well and this I turned into a pocket and so here's some leftover stickers from those sticker sheets from the play pack um, the this is some of the wrapping paper I bought two wrapping papers um, from the Target dollar spot they were both so see-through. Uh, I ended up lining the back of all of them with some of that um, drawing paper from the dollar store. And then some of them I drew, um, this one's a little bit hard to see, but on some pages I drew just a decorative border around the edges. Uh, so here's some paper from the book that I'm using and then the placemat. Uh, this is totally from scraps. This actually back piece was some uh, leftover. What was this? I think this was the uh, the tag from the gift wrap, one of the gift wrap rolls, and then this is from the gift bag. Um, some of that drawing paper again, and then I did back that with um, some book page because it was just on like clear wrapping paper cellophane stuff basically and then again um, covered the book page with some of this drawing paper and then sewed around the whole thing so made a little tuck spot there and then so yeah uh, basically I tried to 
kind of cover the most obvious things um, that were really see-through from the activity pad. Love these little pom-poms. Um, so lots of places for drawing or and writing or adding pictures. Um, this is one of the covers from the play packs. So um, on the other side of this is the other cover. And um, I sewed that to some book page and then the back side um, is clear, so kind of cool. And then I just covered up the uh, pricing information and SKU number and everything with some of this wrapping paper and then some of the snowflakes that I um, had colored. Uh, this is from the back of, I can't remember if it was the sticker sheet or the alphabet sticker sheet, but um, I did use that to make a lot of tags. So I'll just pull this one out to show all the tuck spots and stuff. Um, but here is the second, uh, no, sorry, this was, uh, this was the second gift wrapping. Um, and this was the first. A little belly band here and another tag from the sticker sheet. And we have a little tuck spot here. This is, I just took some scraps um, and sewed them together and then uh, I just, uh, one of the sticker sheets was a DIY snowman. So there's some snowmen throughout the journal. Um, this is one of the covers from the activity books from the play pack. Uh, so this is cardstock. And then here, you can see a little bit better how I kind of drew around the edge making a border. I just kind of did that randomly throughout the journal. There's another pocket and then here I have the leftover um, letters uh, for what I didn't use from that sticker sheet and so whoever ends up with this journal that's going to be for you to use however you'd like. And here we have a gift bag. And the other side has a pocket. Um, again, one of the pages that I colored. Another extra page that I colored. Uh, these are just from pages that I colored with those markers. And um, yeah, I just kind of threw them throughout the book. Another um, place to write. And another little tuck spot. So this journal has three signatures, um, and oh, this is the tag, actual, actual tag from the gift bag um, that I ended up buying. So here's the other side of that play pack, and this is another, um, I think this is the back of the alphabet stickers if I remember right. So there's that. I apologize. I did finish this journal several days ago. Oh, and here's the other um, play pack cover. Uh, so I just thought it was kind of cool that it was a clear pocket and uh, you could kind of see whatever you had in there. So there's a little tuck spot there. Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, yeah, I kind of finished this several days ago. Um, and I apologize, my brain is just not remembering everything that I did because I've been working on some other projects in the meantime <laughs> since I finished this one and um, I'm getting a little confused <laughs> on, on what I actually did. So um, this one is not a pocket, it's just uh, I put the wrapping paper behind to kind of reinforce the page a little bit and then this is... I left this, um, but if you didn't want to, you, you could cover this easily with something and use this page for some journaling. Um, here's another just piece of that uh, backer from the stickers, and then I just made a pocket here with the placemat, and then this page folds out. Uh, another one of those snowflakes. Um, had a lot of fun with the sewing. The thread that I chose is a hot pink 
and if you'll notice, I apologize, I did have to switch threads at the very end. I ran out of the hot pink, um, and this was, this was what I had that would match the best, and I know that's against the rules, I guess, but I don't know. <laughs> Ding me, I suppose, I don't know. So here I made a flip out with uh, one of those pages and then a piece of that placemat and then just made a little tuck spot at the top uh, and then here's another little handmade tag um, from the backing of the sticker sheet and one more of those cute little snowflake or snowmen so this one this one was very different for me as far as uh, what what my style is I don't tend to do this type of journal all that often, but I think it came out kind of cute. Um, here's a little pocket, and then on the inside of here, I just had a couple pieces left over from the snowman sticker sheet, so I threw that in there. I didn't know, you know, if you were adding um, pictures and stuff, it might be cute to put some little mittens next to it, or, you know, do something different um, with them. Maybe add a bow tie to one of your children <laughs> or something. Um, here's another little tuck spot here. This one is kind of delicate because I did not reinforce or back that with anything. So just be aware. Oh, uh, this is the other um, book cover from the activity book in the second play pack. And I just covered up, you know, the writing and whatnot with um, just little scraps of paper. So you can add your own. I did add some paper clips. I didn't add six of them though, I don't think. Um, so maybe that'll help make up for my having to use a different color of thread. I, I don't know. <laughs> There's another fold out page. So, oh, this ended up being a little pocket. And again, uh, this is another one of the, um, I don't remember what packaging this one's from. Maybe another one from the gift wrap, uh, if I remember right. Uh, but I just used paper scraps again. And then this one is like kind of a sideways belly band. There you go. These are from the sides of that gift bag, um, that red and green couldn't see it from the picture and I apologize about that but um, <laughs> this kind of reminded me of Frosty the Snowman so I put Frosty <laughs> on that page there Oops. so yeah um, I had some troubles with this one just uh, because there's so much going on there's a lot of colors there's a lot of uh, just the cartoon drawings and everything are just busy and um, it was hard for me to not keep to keep it from being overwhelmingly busy <laughs> so uh, that was kind of a struggle for me but and like this page especially with all the you know font and everything and text I, I did my best to have pages like this where there really wasn't anything at all happening. Um, and I think, I think it turned out okay. Um, this, it's not, not my typical, like I said, um, type of style, but I actually had a really fun time doing this one too. So this one's pink border. I don't know if you can really see that very well. Um, so, yeah, so like I said, three signatures, um, and if you would like to get this journal, I think it would be a super cute journal uh, for uh, if your kids wanted to do some journaling over the Christmas time. Um, I think it would be really cute for um, some kids to have. Oh, this is a cute little page. So, got a belly band here, uh, just some scraps from the gift bag, and then... Um, another one of the extra pieces and then I turned this little snowflake um, into another little tug spot and this is 
from what is this from <laughs> oh anyway this is another um this is a piece from this had like the pricing and name of one of the pieces that I bought and so I just covered it all with um, some of the extra scraps and stuff and this is not a pocket here um, it's just decorative um, on the page there so anyway yeah like I was saying I think this would be a really fun uh, journal for a child or you know a teenager or even um, if they wanted to do some journaling or memory keeping over the holidays um, I, I just think, or it would be a really fun gift for somebody so anyway yeah I will uh, have this available in my Etsy shop and the link for that will be down below in the description and um, if you like the <laughs> this like I said is not my typical style but um, I do all styles and types of journals I don't necessarily have a particular one style um, I prefer vintage and antique but um, this I do a lot of bright and colorful stuff too so um, if that's interesting to you and you want to see more of that kind of stuff please subscribe um, and if you have any comments or questions about anything please leave me a comment I'd love to have a conversation so uh, yeah everybody I hope you had a very wonderful Christmas and have a very safe happy new year tomorrow and I will see you all very soon. Bye!